Hey, this is Travis with Redwood Motorsport. Today we are going to talk about the brand new 2023 and up Model Y chassis, which requires some slightly different modifications from the earlier years for our kit. Um, if you want to take a look at these guys here, this is the new style top hat. This one has already been pre-modified and this one has just been disassembled, but we're going to be talking about the modifications needed when you have this style top hat. If you come over here, we're going to take a quick look at the chassis. If you want to make sure that this is what you have, you can look up in your wheel well. And if your upper arm is bolted directly to the chassis from the inside with both heads right here, then you have the newer chassis. This is all one piece on the older chassis. This arm was held in by a secondary piece that was bolted into a not cast chassis. Take a look up at the top, show you uh, the, the upper side. You can see that the top of the shock bolts in right here, directly through the main chassis. The older chassis had uh, bolts for the carrier. One of them was about here. There, there were four bolts that held in that carrier. And uh, so it's completely different style. Now we're gonna go on to the modification that you need to make. Okay, so once you've got your top hat off of your shock, this is how it'll look. You can see that this, uh, this, this kind of silicone kind of piece is, uh, is in here pretty tight. We're gonna show you the general technique on how to get it off. I have had this one off once already, so yours may be a little bit more difficult to get off than this one is. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get some lubricant, some sort of, uh, some sort of silicone lubricant like this works fairly well. Um, get it nice and lubed up in there, right around that hole. And get a flathead screwdriver. Just give it a little pry around you're trying to loosen up where it's gripping on to the center here. Once you've gone around like that, a little more lube is not gonna hurt. You'll wipe it down later. Then you're gonna start going around, prying up like this. This could be quite time consuming. The next thing that might help is you get your uh, needle nose pliers like this, grab, a, grab it and give it a pull up. And just note that you're gonna have to go around this several times and keep doing the same stuff. You can see this one's already, already starting to pop up. Once you've got it up about here where you can see that group, that spot in there, take advantage of that. Get your flat head in here. Pry that guy off, just like that. That's the first step. Now, we wanna make this one look more like this one. Basically what we need to do is there's a, a black plastic ring inside here that we wanna leave. That'll help locate our spring but this rubber here or silicone is too large we need this to we need this to go away so we'll show you how to do that next okay so the first thing that we want to do when we're modifying this is we want to take down this front edge until we get it down to the, the hard plastic black ring inside that'll allow us to peel off what we need to from around the outside and not have to worry about the bit that's rolled over onto the inside here easiest way to do that is gonna be with some sort of small belt sander. Um, a larger one would even work if you if you have that. Um, you just wanna be careful about how much you're taking off. Um, you just wanna get it down to the black ring. Going into it a little bit is perfectly fine. It doesn't, it, it's not a precise thing we need to do here. We just need to get it down far enough, but you don't wanna grind it, grind it all away. So we're gonna do that just like this. Okay, so you can see we've uh, sanded this down. If you don't have access to some sort of a small belt sander or a larger one, 
Um, you can do this with a, a razor knife as well. Um, if you look very closely, you'll see it's slightly different color through here. That's what you're looking to get to. That is the, the darker black plastic ring that we're trying to expose. You can see about here, there it dips down. The, the ring actually dips down right there. So it's, uh, you'll have three spots where it actually doesn't quite come up to the top. That's totally fine. We'll deal with that later. So once you have it to this point where you're down to that black plastic, we want to cut this flat. And as we said prior, or as, as we do here, we have a, uh, we're going to do this on the bandsaw. If you don't have access to a bandsaw or you're not comfortable using one, you can do this with a hacksaw and uh, a vise. Just clamp it up and you're going to want to try and saw this guy flat while trying not to go through this black plastic ring. We want to keep that. So you're just going to lightly go through, get a good groove all the way around, try and get it fairly flat without cutting all the way through. One quick safety note, if you are using a bandsaw, obviously it is a power tool, be very careful. Do not put your fingers in the middle here. While you're cutting this, if it pulls in and your fingers are through the middle, you will lose fingers. If you keep your hands on the outside of everything and it pulls into the blade, you might lose the top hat, but your hands are probably gonna be okay. Okay, so once you've got the front part ground or cut down and you've got your slot cut in the back, the next step is going to be to take a nice sharp razor knife. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna cut right down to that black harder plastic part. Don't lose track of where your cut is because the moment you take that knife out, it becomes very faint. Then you're gonna take the razor knife and you're gonna try and get right up next to the, uh, the black plastic ring and just do a cut in here. Don't need a lot, just enough to get your pliers in. Next, you're gonna take your pliers Try and grab this guy and peel. That came away remarkably easy. I have not had one be that easy. <laughs> but once you've got it started peeling, just keep that going. You'll see some places around, you may not have cut deep enough. Just take your razor knife, give it a little trim and keep on peeling. Once you've got it started, it should be fairly easy to keep going. The only hard parts are gonna be when you come up to these uh, these three points where uh, it doesn't quite, where the black plastic doesn't come, come out quite as far. You'll just have to cut around those guys, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so now you can see we've got it all modified. We've got just this black ring here. Our, uh, all this outside rubber silicone stuff is uh, all gone. So now, fits nicely inside of our spring, so we don't need to worry about spring centering. And then you just pop this guy right back into the top hat. And we're good to go.